A number of political heavyweights, including groups and individuals, will be giving their input on the Protection of State Information Bill at Parliament today, and heads will roll in the Limpopo Health Department. I'm Richard Brooks. A number of political heavyweights, including groups and individuals, will be giving their input on the Protection of State Information Bill at Parliament today. They include Kusatu, the Nelson Mandela Foundation, distinguished human rights lawyer George Bezos, and public protector Tuli Madunsela. The ad hoc committee of the National Council of Provinces is holding a final round of public hearings on the bill. Groups like the Open Democracy Advice Centre, the National Editors Forum and the Human Rights Commission have already called for a clause allowing classified information to be published if it's in the public interest. Health Minister Aaron Motswaledi says the responsibility to report statutory rape to police should be undertaken by civil society organisations and other arms of state rather than health workers. He was responding to a DA parliamentary question. Mercedes Besant reports. DA MP Emma More wanted to know whether the health department has laid charges of statutory rape regarding impregnated girls as young as 10 years and being infected with HIV AIDS as reported in the 2010 antenatal HIV prevalence survey. But Mutualedi says there is strict confidentiality when health workers interact with patients on such information. He says therefore health workers don't feel obliged to report such incidents to the police. Motswaledi says he believes that the role of reporting such incidents lies with parents, NGOs, social workers, churches and other organs of state. Heads will roll in the Limpopo Health Department. This warning has come from the administrator placed by national government in charge of the department, Tiny Rennie. He was reporting to National Council of Provinces delegates who are currently in the province to assess progress made since five of its departments were put under administration. Rennie explains. Whoever influenced the process or advised wrongly for anybody to authorize the award of a contract irregularly, disciplinary cases will be followed. The cases have been handed over already to the relevant body, which is the DPSA. However, over and above that, there are other cases of possible investigations that could lead to corruption or criminal charges that have been referred to the relevant investigation units. A formal bail application by a man accused of raping a TB patient at the Mahiking Provincial Hospital in the northwest last year is expected to be heard at the city's magistrate's court this morning. Ho Busamang Kechabile was arrested on the basis of footage from a CCTV camera at the hospital after allegedly raping a TB patient at Ward 9. Rulani Beloy has more. The incident, which happened during visiting hours in the day, has raised questions about the safety of patients. Kitsabile is an ordinary member of the public. There have been two recent cases where male nurses were accused of raping patients in hospital, one in Bloemfontein and the other in Pochefstroom. Both cases will be back in court next month. 